Joining us today on The Blend is Joseph Mead. He is the CEO of Caroline Hospice Group. Welcome to The Blend, Joseph. Talk to us about how Caroline Hospice got started here in Michigan. Thank you, Deb. I'm so pleased to be here and good morning. Um, we are a relatively new company. Um, however, our, our growth has been pretty exceptional. Uh, we now cover uh, the entire Lansing market, uh, the Jackson market, and indeed 11 counties across the state of Michigan. We're founded on a belief that we could provide better care. And what we do is we find great, clinician, uh, great clinicians, mission-driven people, um, and we marry them with the best of the best resources, the best technology and the best resources for them to do what they do best, which is care for patients in their home. So in-home care, and tell us about some of the technology that you're using, the innovations that you're using um, for, for your patients. So uh, we were recently recognized for being the first in Michigan to adopt Muse technology. Um, we're actually only the third in the country uh, to adopt and roll this technology out. We've been doing it for about six months now. And the technology is, is fascinating. Um, it, it is a predictive tool. And what it allows us to do is put care where it's needed most. Um, so when someone is struggling and when their illness is progressing, um, we're alerted to that and we're ahead of that. And so it enables us to put care where it's needed most. Um, the results of that are actually quite staggering. Um, we track and Medicare tracks for all hospices, how many visits a patient or family gets at the end of life. The, those last seven days are critical. That's the most important time. And I'm proud to say that, that Caroline Hospice is actually number one in the state in the number of visits at the end of life. The average hospice in Michigan gets about 5.8 visits at the end of life. We're at 10.2 and we expect that gap to widen as we put more and more care where it's needed most with our patients, with our families uh, in the home. If you have a family member who is ill and you're not certain what the status is and how do you even go about contact? How do you know when to contact hospice? Yeah, it's a great question, and, and it's, it's probably the biggest question in hospice. Unfortunately, many people come to hospice late, so I'd encourage everyone to call. Um, reach us uh, on our website, carolinehealthgroup.com. Uh, we're easily findable, we're easily available, and we're always ready to answer any questions that our patients or families may have. Um, but more than that, we're, we're going to give you the answers and we're going to give you the questions that you should be asking. We encourage everyone to interview hospices and seek care early. Um, it's never too early to find out more information and it's an honor for us to help educate and inform our families. I'm always so touched by that is mission driven too, to be in hospice and I can tell that this is very much uh, dear to your heart. So thank you so much for joining us today, Joseph. It was a pleasure talking with you.